we want to determine the derivative of the given function using the limit definition of the derivative and then determine f prime of 1 and f prime of negative 2. And these will give us the slope of the tangent line at x equals 1 and x equals negative 2. So here's the limit definition of the derivative. So to determine the derivative using this method, we'll have to evaluate this limit. So f prime of x is going to be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of this difference quotient, where our numerator is f of x plus h minus f of x, and our denominator is h. So for f of x plus h, we're going to replace x with x plus h. So we'll have 2 all over x plus h minus f of x, which is just 2 over x, divided by h. Now in its current form, we can't determine this limit because if we try to perform direct substitution, we have division by 0. So we have to manipulate this quotient, and then hopefully we can evaluate this using direct substitution. So what we're going to do is multiply the numerator and denominator of this difference quotient by the common denominator of these two fractions here. And the least common denominator would be the product of these two denominators. So we're going to multiply this fraction by x times x plus h over x times x plus h. But since these are in fraction form, we're going to write this all over 1. Now let's see what this gives us. We're going to leave our denominator in factored form, so we're going to have hx times x plus h. Now we need to be careful when we multiply the numerator. When we find this product here, notice how this x plus h will simplify out with this x plus h here, and we're left with 2 times x. So we have 2x here. And then when we determine this product here, notice how this x simplifies out with this x, so we have, so we have minus 2 times the quantity x plus h. Now let's go ahead and clear these parentheses and combine like terms. So we have 2x minus 2x minus 2h all over h times x times x plus h. Well, 2x minus 2x is 0, so we're left with negative 2h all over hx times x plus h. Notice how we have a common factor of h between the numerator and denominator, which simplifies out. So now we have the limit as h approaches 0 of just negative 2 all over x times x plus h. But if h approaches 0, our denominator is going to approach just x times x or x squared. So our derivative is negative 2 divided by x squared. Now that we have the derivative, let's go ahead and evaluate it at positive 1 and negative 2 on the next page. So f prime of 1 is going to be equal to negative 2 all over 1 squared, which is negative 2. Now we want f prime of negative 2. So we'll have negative 2 all over negative 2 squared, which is negative 2 over positive 4. So that's equal to negative 1 half. So this tells us the slope of the tangent line at x equals 1 is equal to negative 2. And the slope of the tangent line at negative 2 is equal to negative 1 half. Let's go ahead and verify this graphically. Notice that x equals 1, we have this blue tangent line here with a slope of negative 2. And notice that x equals negative 2, we have this blue tangent line with a slope of negative 1 half. We'll take a look at one more example involving a square root function in the next video. I hope you found this helpful.